Alright, what's going on guys? It's Chef, and we're back here over on some more Sekiro. Last video, I ended up killing a, a couple mini-bosses and making some progress. There was a giant snake, and there was just a lot that happened. Uh, that video was basically just a test run myself. To be fair, if people didn't want that, I probably would have been just playing this myself anyway. I just wouldn't have been making videos, but that video got over 60,000 likes, so it seems like people definitely have been enjoying it. So, if you guys want some more Sekiro videos, let me know down in the comment section, and by leaving a like on this video as well. I definitely plan on just playing all the way through this whole thing, killing all the bosses, or at least the main story bosses. I think there are extra bosses, but I'll see how I feel towards the end of that for the extra stuff. Just want to at least complete the story. I have never beaten the final bosses on this game. Alright, we don't have any gourd seeds. We talked to the lady. So, the last thing that happened was the giant snake. We attached our shuriken. We should be coming up on a boss here soon. We also got Mikiri counter, so we can definitely uh, do a lot more with that. Now, I think I want suppressed presence. Now, I mean, a lot of these are very good, to be fair, but there's also other arts that you can unlock along with this shinobi arts thing, if I remember correctly. Need one more prayer beat as well. See, on this game, it's not as bad fighting all of the mobs and stuff because it's a lot easier and just a lot less risky, to be honest. But in Dark Souls and other shit, it just gets annoying. Don't shoot me. Chill out. Kiri counter, you see that shit? <laughs> Holy fuck. Got him. Off the mountain. Oh man, I wanted them to dramatically fall. Oh, never mind. He wouldn't have. All right, never mind. That wasn't going to be as cool as I thought it was going to be. Akko sugar. Yeah, that's the good shit. I probably won't pop any sugars or anything until I genuinely need it. Oh, this one looks like a boss arena. It's time. All right, here we go. First try. Is there a cutscene in here? Oh no, it's just this right here. What's up? So we want to use that to get close to it. Ooh, ooh. Ow. Ow. Okay, not bad. Big posture damage. He does that range attack whenever I can do that. There we go. Knocked him. That's one HP thing down. Ah, fuck. I gotta stop swinging so much. I should do like two swings and that's it. Oh, there's no way you got the horse watching me kill it. That's crazy. Woo Shinobi execution. Prosthetic tool upgrade. So we got mechanical bear. Now we got a memory. So watch this shit. Oh, and we got skill points for beating him. Two skill points. Let's see what kind of skills we can get. And also we'll upgrade some stuff. That felt good. First try. I did not remember his moves at all. I'll get suppressed presence. I think that'll be useful. Physical attributes. Okay, I don't have those. Attack power. Confront memory. Remnant. Attack power has been enhanced. Boom. And now our attack power, instead of being one, is now two. That is the only way you gain damage in this game. You don't upgrade your sword. There's not really a build, per se, in here. There's just different uh, challenges and restrictions you can put on yourself if you wanted. And then you also have this thing here called Reflection of Strength, where you can actually go back and just fight those bosses. But then they scale you to a specific level. So, say I wanted to go back and fight this guy when I'm a higher level. It'll actually scale us to be an even level when we fight again. Even if I do have more stuff. Super cool. Alright, so, I remember that there was somebody over here... That gave me something important, but I don't really remember what that is. All right, these guys are... Oh, I remember. These guys were super annoying to fight. Care to purchase an offering. Dragon's Blood Droplet, Fistful of Ash, 
coin purses. Robert's firecrackers. I guess I'll be back for this Robert's firecrackers thing. Prosthetic, so I feel like I used that at one point, and it definitely helped me. Oh, he killed more than one of these things. Oh, yeah, this is the dude with the uh, the cool mask, right? That mask is so sick. Care to hunt some rats with me? At description. Okay, so I think I remember where these guys are. So he wants us to go kill these specific guys that are like, they look, they're these really short little guys with like uh, armor on their head or something, if I remember right. And I'm pretty sure they're like over in this direction somewhere. Please tell me I can go through the game. Oh, ah, yes, finally an open door. The rats are over here. Okay, I remember. And also, since I have level two sneak, I can sneak all the way around. Come here, buddy. Come here. I got him. Since that one guy aggroed me, I'm just gonna walk away and then just lose aggro and then sneak up on him again. See, he's losing aggro. So you can actually use the stealth in the game. He walks back to his location like uh, his friend didn't just get absolutely murdered in front of him. And then I'll be able to sneak up behind him and kill him. And I think that's all of them. I'm pretty sure it's all of them. Oh, uh, he looks ready to fight, but unfortunately, buddy, your AI is not prepared for this. <laughs> now we go back to this guy. The, the thing is, I don't remember what he gives us for doing this. So weird. I feel so much more comfortable with this than I was on Bloodborne. It's odd. You would think I'd be less comfortable with this because it's very different, but it's just a lot more straightforward. Caught myself some rats. Yes, sir. Ashina esoteric text. So this is more abilities. Ways of the Ashina blade. Oh, and I can open this door. I didn't even know there was a door over here. Wait, who is that? Old lady? Moyuki. Oh, okay. She's not very nice. There's got to be a reason that she is there though, right? What's upstairs? You guys hiding anything or what? Oh, there's an item up here. Oh, I can grapple? Oh, I can grapple even higher. View remnant. Okay, what does this guy do? Oh, okay. Cool, thank you. Okay, there's a chest. Is this the only thing up here? This better be something good. I feel like I found some actual hidden shit. Prayer bead! Oh, shit, that's huge! I don't even have to fight anything for that. I just found one. And that gives me more HP and defense or whatever. Something like that. Enhanced physical attributes for prayer beads. And we get our first prayer necklace. Increases maximum vitality and posture. Okay, so we're just all around defensively stronger. And then we look at our skills here. Now we can go and look over at the uh, Ashina arts. Ichi Munji, I remember this. It's a thing where you just basically just charge this overhand swing. And it does crazy amounts of posture, just damage in general, but an insane amount of posture damage. So instead of us just doing these like little swings like this, there is the charge thrust like that. The Ichi Munji is actually something that if they want to keep blocking, that's what you want to just slam into their guard over and over again. I remember using it a lot okay so one shuriken actually takes him out nice i love this combat i love it sneak up on this guy and then we can sneak up on this other guy too big dude we are just cheeked up in the sunlight like that got him oh there's another one Ooh, got him and we can assassinate one of these guys I'm gonna get this one, because he's easy. I can Makiri counter this guy, right? Yeah. There it is. Oh, so clean! I love it. It's infiltrating. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, that's a bull. Oh. Clean. Another prayer bead. Shinobi medicine rank two. Was that like a side boss? Did you have to do that? <laughs> Sounds like he's calmed down. Uh, yeah, no. See, the bull's dead. Oh, okay, I remember this area. Uh, talk. Thank heavens. It was just this old lady sitting here praying. Okay, so now we got that extra prayer bead. Oh, it's feeling good. I'm gonna have to get this whirlwind slash thing though because I need the uh, mid air deflection thing. Oh, breath of life light. You get HP from death blows. Oh, okay. Okay, that's way better. Makiri counter damage. Let's go back to the temple. See what we can upgrade. See what we can put on. What difference does the barrel make? If you find something interesting of that sort, bring it my way. Mechanical barrel fitted. Upgrade prosthetic tool. Oh, so it'll give me upgrades to 
those prosthetics that I get. I could get the upgraded shuriken. I can get upgraded whatever other things there could be. I needed 500 for those firecrackers. Let me go back and check on that, uh, the one old lady. Hold on, wait a minute. Didn't she give me a thing to give to the Buddha, right? It's this. Pray. Yep, that's the thing. That's what I was talking about. So I guess we could go back to her after we put this down. I don't really know what that does, but three years ago, I prayed so hard I time traveled. What the fuck? Okay, so travel. So now we have the Harada estate. Oh, I can go in the water. Can I just kill this fish? Come here, buddy. Okay, well, I couldn't catch the fish. I'll have to get these guys. Gotcha. Then we'll shoot again that. So this guy in the barrel apparently wants some uh, scales or something from these fish. Now, how do I get the fish? Got one. Treasure carp scale. There was more than one. There was two of them. Never mind, I got him. Really, there's nothing dangerous in the water. I don't like that. Go and give it to this guy and see what he gives us. You can purchase items from it. Floating passage text. Right mask fragment. Withered red gourd. I mean, what else am I gonna buy with it, right? Why are there three remnants over here? Let's see what they say. What is he doing? He didn't do anything. He just disappeared. Touch remnant. Six ratings. Okay. What is he doing? Okay. See, this is why I usually play offline. Four ratings. Okay, very useful, guys. Thank you. I thought they would show me, like, some secret passage that you could potentially, like, I don't know, dive underwater or some shit. Or they would show me that there's, like, a hidden cave or some shit over there. I don't know. Ceramic shard. We can sit at this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that old lady now after I used the, uh, the bell thing and see what's going on. Also, somebody in my comments said that there's, uh, some item up here. They said next to the old lady up a cliff. Oh, it's over there. I see it with the crows. They said look for the birds. Yes, I have. You really are a sweet boy. Okay. Uh, I guess nothing then. She just asks if I delivered it and I did, so. Okay, anyway, let's go up to wherever that mountain is. Let's go up that thing. Boom. Yo. Oh, it's another one of these merchants. Oh, he has Robert's firecrackers too. Okay, so they're just there generally. Uh, I do have 500 now though, so I can buy those. Boom. Can attach them to my shit. I mean, we killed two bosses, honestly. I could call it right there. And then after this, we can go and continue the uh, Harada Palace or Estate or whatever it's called. I love how easily you can move across these maps. I love it. I'm used to it resting as soon as I sit, but I actually really like the fact that you could choose whether to or not and still like make all these changes. Mid-air deflection, I need that. Then I probably got to get Shinobi Eyes or Ichimunji to start doing way more posture damage. Go and attach this and then we'll stop there. Got two big ass bosses out of the way with the Raging Bull. Yobu guy, I think his name was. Shinobi Firecracker. Oh. I thought it was Robert's. Oh, okay. It's like an ingredient for it. I see. And then we can also upgrade it from here. Oh, okay, cool. And that's what that material is used for. Okay, so gunpowder and like scrap metal and shit. Iron or whatever. Got it. This game is so sick. Holy fuck.